Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch. I hope this helps others. I'm recording this so that I remember how to do it and fix a really old website that I created in 2003 with Microsoft front page. And then I moved it to this server. So you see the date uh, 2013, which means that I did this 10 years later or maybe before that. In any case, uh, what I'm going to do is show you how I fix some of the broken links. There's so much to fix here. I just don't know if it's worth it, but I'm going to try anyways. Going to go down to W for web quests. Actually, the name of the site is Nellie's English Projects, and the idea was to help other teachers with web quests and project-based learning. So I'm going down to W, bear with me, to web quests, topics, htm. This is uh, the page. I went through some of the links and most of them are broken. Uh, the idea, of course, here is to choose a topic for the web quest. And there are various web quests here going to go into web quest by Nelly Deutsch because this is the page that I wanted to fix. There are problems here. And there's um, the page here. Notice this is available, which is great. That's a uh, Bernie Dodge's page, and it works, which is great. I also um, went into the topics, which I'm going to also take you through. I think of all these, only three available, and that is the Anne Frank and the probability, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check to make sure that those are the ones that are still available. So here is the probability one, and this is the Anne Frank, which means that uh, basically I have to delete all the others. So I went into my file over here. Okay, this is my file manager. I'm on a C panel, and went into the web quest and topics, and you can see it here. How did I get here? Well, let me take you there again. I click on the right of the WebQuest topics, and then I've got these options. Download, which I don't want to do. View, which is fine before you. Then I've got Edit or HTML Edit, and that's what I click on. Notice it's going to come up. It'll say all kinds of things there. I'm going to ignore that. Go into the Edit button, and here it is. Now, I can go into the HTML source which is right here, or I can view it as I am right now. So let me click on the source. Source will take me here. If I click on it again, I'll get here. Now, as I said, most of um, the links here are no longer available, which means that I'm going to have to get rid of them. Okay, so let's see if I can get rid of the row delete row that one delete this one to make it easier of course I'm not going to delete the table all right delete rows here this one can also go this is really really time consuming if you can think of a better way let me get these all out of the way if you can think of a better way of um Fixing my website without having me to pay for anything, but for free. Let me know. All right, so I'm going to also delete these rows, and then I'm left with get rid of that one. Okay, and this one. Notice out of all those, I currently have two left unbelievable okay so let me cut that move it here 
and there we are and then delete this row and i should be good to go so let's see what it looks like to leave rows okay so very very large okay i also need to um oh please report broken send your teacher this one seems to work this one will also need fixing here because the topics um don't really work so i'm gonna have to fix that in the meantime let me just uh save this so that uh, we see what it's like right now so there's the save button at the top right now this is available on any file manager c panel and i presume on others as well so it shouldn't be a problem let's save it they're successfully saved I can see that at the bottom. Well, it's gone, but it did appear down here. Okay, and um, I should be good to go. There's the page. I notice it's going to take a bit of time, so don't get discouraged. It will take some time for it to appear. And here you can see that the links that were previously there are gone. And these are the ones that will appear. They're available right now. When they go, I'll have to get rid of that as well. If you see any broken links on Nellie's English Projects, please let me know. I'm going to go through this one step at a time. Yes, it is time consuming, but I think it's worthwhile if I want to keep the site, that is. And it has been around for uh, many years. So um, I think it's really worth it. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Continue watching. If you'd like to know what I'm using, what the editor is, please do the following. Click on it, and this is what you get. It's called CK Editor 4. And there is more information about it if you're interested. I hope this uh, helps.